Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to test two new mascaras by Maybelline and see if they are as good as they say that they are. The first one is the Green Edition Mega Mousse Mascara and it's supposed to be weightless, gives you volume. Uh, let me see, this is in black as black. And this is, if you see the picture underneath, this is how it's supposed, your lashes are supposed to look like. So, and the other one is from, it's called the Colossal Curl and Bounce Mascara, big volume, bouncy curl, and up to 24 hour wear, which that is a long time. And this is how it tells you that your lashes are gonna look before and after. And yes, yeah, so I wanted to try them. Um, there's not too many Maybelline mascaras that, I shouldn't say that. There's some that are good that I do like. Um, I actually love this one. This one is the Lash Discovery, and this is the waterproof one. And I love to use this one on my lower lash lines, low, yeah, lower lashes, because it doesn't uh, smudge, it doesn't, um, they don't give me raccoon eyes. And no smudging and no clumping or anything like that. It looks really, really nice. So, um, but I'm gonna use one of these, on one, this one on this eye, top and bottom, and this one on this eye, top and bottom. I love wearing lash primers. I am not gonna wear one for the sake of this video so that I can let you know in the comments, um, did it smudge, did, did I have any fallout, um you know anything like that uh did my lashes i have pretty decent lashes and they have quite a bit of curl so it has to be a really really bad mascara for my lashes they may not look incredible but they'll look decent so i'm going to use this one first this is the maybelline green edition and it says mega mousse mascara so i don't know let's see what the brush looks like this is what it looks like and these are usually the brushes that i like uh, I think that they give you a little more volume. So I'm, we're going to use that one on the right eye. And I do not have any kind of primer. And this look that I'm wearing right now, it's not totally 100% finished, but it will be, I will link it below. If it's already up. I'm not sure which video is going to go up first. So I'm going to... Just try to build it up a little bit. I will do a second coat. Let me take that little bit off the very tip. Otherwise, it will end up on the side of my nose. It seems to be separating the lashes really, really nice. Right now, I really don't see any volume. Um, okay, let's use the other one. Well, this one dries a little bit. Let's use the other one on um, the left eye. And then we'll do the lower lashes last. And this... Okay, this brush, oops, sorry, is also curved. It's just not as thick. It's a little slimmer than the other brush. And I got both shades. I think it's like black as black. This one seems to be um, a little drier formula then the green it also is doing a very good job of separating the lashes um i don't think it's giving me incredible volume yet or any more curl than i normally have okay so let's go back to the green and do the second uh, coat i'm just taking the little what's always comes out on the very tip so I'm trying not to make a mess. And even though this brush is pretty big, I mean, I really don't mind it. Um, you can still get to the roots of your lashes. Now, sometimes mascaras, I feel that after they've been opened for a little bit and they get a little bit of air inside, they, they feel and they look a little better. Now this one is a, a wetter formula, but not much more than the other one. Now two coats, let me scoot you up so you can see better. 
I want you to be able to see the lashes. Two coats look okay, but I mean, they're not. I think that my Essence Mascara does a better job even on the first coat that I apply on my lashes. So, so far, is it bad? No. But, um, is it life changing? No. These were more expensive than the Essence, and the Essence are only $5. And I think that they give you incredible volume and length. They do a pretty good job lasting all day. Now, uh, look at both of my, my lashes. I think this one seems to be giving me a, more, a little bit more length right now. It doesn't look like it's really building on itself too much. I'm going to try a little, like a third coat of this one but I never use three coats of, of uh, mascara on my lashes now it seems like it's building a little more seems like it's showing up a little more but still it's not it's okay it does a great job of separating the lashes of not making it look like you just have three lashes you know how sometimes some mascaras kind of put you know get all your lashes stuck together this one is not doing that. Let me put a little bit on the lower lash line. And I usually don't really put a lot, a lot there. Okay. So that's for three coats. I'm not going to apply any more. Um, like I said, I will leave in the description box. If it smudged, if it have flakes, if it's um, lasted all day, if it's hard to remove, I don't know. I can't tell you which one I like better. I think they're both nice everyday mascaras. If I were going to go um, somewhere and I really wanted my, you know, I don't wear um, fake eyelashes, false eyelashes. So if I want to go somewhere and have my lashes really pop, this is not the mascara that I would use. Neither one of these. Now this one seems to look a little nicer on the lower lash line than the other one, right? This one looks a little nicer on the lower lash line. So tell me what you think. I mean, do you think, uh, do they look longer to you? Do this, the curl and bounce look better to you? Or, oh, that's the wrong thing. Or the green one, the... Maybelline Green Edition. I don't know if that means that it's clean. Does it say it on the packaging? I don't think so. And they're both in black as black. So let me know which one you think looks better. Um, I really can't tell. All right, so um, yeah, let me go ahead and finish the rest of my look and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Okay guys, so this is me with my finished look. So um, yeah, I think when I'm looking at both of these mascaras, I really don't see, they're like this, that big of a difference on my lashes. Um, I really can't, I don't know if you guys can tell to me they don't look like wow what an amazing mascara it's okay it's an everyday mascara for me i have better and drugstore and cheaper like i said essence the essence um mascara i will link it below to me that's the best buy in mascara that you can make so um i hope that you enjoy this video let me know what you think I will list link both of these below in case you want to try them. I got them both on Amazon and that seemed to be a little less expensive than they were everywhere else in a lot of places like um, it was sold out. So I was able to find both of them on Amazon just a couple of days ago. They got delivered today. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.